The Hunter Filtrator System is the most trouble-free device for filtering and cleaning edible oils available on the market today. Using the Hunter system on a daily basis in your fryers provides these benefits. The Hunter filtrator will save you money by extending the life of your cooking oils. The Hunter filtrator will save you time by freeing you from the messy and time-consuming job of hand cleaning your fry kettles. And the Hunter filtrator will improve the quality and taste of the fried foods that you serve. The Hunter Filtrator is normally shipped in two boxes. It requires some assembly before use. Watch this video before you use your filtrator system. Slide the oil container into the cart with the square end to the rear of the cart. Place the power unit on the shelf on top of the cart. Make sure the suction side faces the container. The discharge nozzle and hose are attached to the union nut on the discharge side of the power unit. Hand tighten only. Never use a wrench to tighten this connection. The filter screen assembly consists of a two-piece nickel-plated screen, clamp, stem, and connections, and can be used with filter paper envelopes or filter cloth bags. First, slide the metal screen into either a cloth bag filter or a paper envelope filter. Then fold the open end of the filter over and slide on the metal clamp to hold the filter in place. Next, screw the filter screen stem onto the filter screen. When this is complete, place the filter screen assembly into the container with the clamped end of the filter toward the rear end of the container. Attach the filter screen stem to the suction side of the power unit by means of the union nut. Again, hand tighten only. Complete the assembly of your filtrator by sliding the stainless steel cover into place over the container opening. The half round portion of the cover attaches to the front and acts as a splash guard. Hot oil or shortening will cause parts of the filtrator to become hot use care when handling to avoid injury. It is recommended that before using the filtrator, the oil or shortening in the fryer should be approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Open the door of the fryer unit, turn the fryer off, and attach the drain extension pipe to the drain fitting. If this is a new filter, you should sprinkle filtrator compound onto the cloth bag or paper envelope. Use enough to evenly coat the top surface. Plug the power unit into a 120 volt AC electrical outlet. Move the filtrator into position by the fryer drain. When properly positioned, the rounded cover acts as a splash guard. Sprinkle a cup of filtrator compound into the oil or shortening in your fryer. A good rule of thumb is one cup filtrator compound per 40 pounds of oil or shortening. Turn the filtrator on and use the discharge nozzle to mix the compound into the oil. When thoroughly mixed, turn off the filtrator. Open the fryer drain valve to allow the oil or shortening to drain into the filtrator container. Turn the filtrator on. At this point, the oil or shortening that has drained into the filtrator will be recirculated back into the fryer through the discharge nozzle. Remove the crumb screen and clean the other surfaces of the fryer. Sediment and accumulated particles can be cleaned out of the fryer by directing the stream of recirculated oil around the fry pot. Once the sediment is cleaned out of the fry pot, shut the power unit off and close the drain of the fryer. Turn the filtrator power unit on again. While the fry pot refills with oil, clean and replace the crumb screen. Once all the oil has been returned to the fryer, turn off the filtrator power unit, remove the discharge nozzle from the fryer, and unplug the filtrator. Turn the fryer on, adjust the temperature, and you're back in business. It is extremely important to drain the pump after the completion of the filtering process.
Consult your operating instructions for the proper draining procedures.